my team. 27 dead. Oh, no, shit. Don't let it get stopped right here. Oh my god. You ain't no shit, nigga. Get your gang, fucking nigga, you microphone no out of your nigga. mouth. <laughs> War. War never changes. Even in old school, COD players just love to suck on dick for whatever reason. <laughs> Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. Welcome back to my top five Call of Duties of all time. We are here with number two in my top five, the original Call of Duty Black Ops. Let's jump in here and just look at the maps that were in this. For a good Call of Duty game, you gotta have good variety, good replayability, good maps. So let's go through what we got here. Array. Oh man, it's been a while since I've looked at these maps. Array was a good map. I actually used this for an intro, I believe, for one of my Wheezy's War College videos. Uh, Cracked is a good one with those buildings destroyed in the middle. Crisis, I don't remember as much. I remember being okay. Firing range, a classic. Uh, grid, I remember a little bit. Yeah, I think it was a pretty good one. Hanoi, I think this is the one where I was, uh, I had a video where I was talking crap to a little kid on it. Fantastic. Havana's a decent one. Jungle, one of my all-time favorites. When I think of Black Ops, Jungle is the map I think of. Ooh, Launch. Forgot about Launch. That's a good one. Nuketown. Very hit or miss, but obviously a classic. Uh, radiation. Is this the one that has the missile silo in the middle? It's a good one. Summit. Another classic. Great. Great map. Villa is a good one. Kind of for I forgot that was Black Ops. Uh, WMD, another good one. What do we got for DLC maps? Berlin Wall, good one. Played that in my video the other day. Discovery, this is a pretty big one. I don't. Rem I remember this being one of those where it wasn't like a really straightforward three-lane map, so probably not one of my favorites. Kowloon, I remember also being a little strange. Stadium, actually ended up playing really well. Convoy, oh, this one had the highway on the side. That was a good one. Hotel, this one's been remade, I believe, a couple of times. Stockpile, I don't remember this one as much. I vaguely remember it. Zoo is a good one, a bit a bit big and complex, kind of like Carnival from Modern Warfare 2. Drive-in, oh, I forgot about drive-in where you could get up behind the screen and snipe from up there. I remember this one not being super great. It wasn't awful. Hangar 18 is a good one. Hazard, oh, I barely remember this one at all. I remember it being a big one. Must have, maybe it came out towards the end of the life of, of Black Ops, but. And then Silo, is this a remake of Countdown? I, be, I remember this one a little bit as well, but a bunch of good maps. I remember just in general, Black Ops played really well. If we go in here and look at our combat record. So yeah, nine days, 20 hours played in this. Not necessarily as much as some other Call of Duties, but I remember this one very fondly. Three win ratio there, uh, weapons, kills, 2.8 KD, 70% accuracy, best kill streak, 26. Uh, keep track of some matches, kill streaks, contracts. So another great thing about this game was having contracts. You had a file share, there was a replay system. Like this was a great Call of Duty in so many ways because it took a lot of what was great about like the original Mo COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, really tightened up the gameplay and added some of these features that we were used to for games like Halo, where you had like a replay system. Being able to select contracts was a cool thing that you could do, and then using that currency to drive unlocks. Yeah, it was just fantastic game. So we're gonna just jump into uh, a couple of matches, play some Black Ops, talk about why this is my number two Call of Duty of all time and uh, just have some fun enjoying some old school Call of Duty gameplay. The weapon balance was really good. It didn't feel like there was a lot of super OP stuff. There wasn't a whole lot of shit that I remember being really annoying. I think the way that they did last stand in this game, you couldn't shoot while you were in it. You could just be revived by teammates. So it wasn't like, oh, I killed that guy and then he killed me. It was just like, I don't know. It felt like this was for the longest time, just the absolute pinnacle of Call of Duty. Uh, let's start out with a connection interrupted and perhaps a host migration. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh, what are we running for kill streaks? Napalm, attack helicopter, blackbird. Good combination. Uh, they have gunship, they have attack dogs. 
Ah, the old school COD lobbies where when they started to fall apart, you just had to go and find a new one. Let's see what it does. A vote system for maps? Where you can say, hey, this one, that one, or something else entirely? I don't know why that system went away. I mean, I partially do. EOMM is the reason for a lot of these really uh, bad decisions, but... You can select face paint, that's right. Your perk, I think one of your... Is it your perk one that changed what you looked like? You could tell what someone's perk one was. Uh, what do we got? Lightweight, scavenger, they had pro perks, ghost, flak jacket, hardline, nothing really irritating there. Hardened, scout, steady aim, sleight of hand, warlord, again, just nothing in here really felt terrible. <laughs> There we go, there is a second chance. So this was one that I refused, refused to unlock. No matter how many COD points I had, I was like, no, I'm not unlocking it. I'm not. <laughs> no thank you. Frag, Simtex, Tomahawk, White Phosphorus, Nova Gas, Flashbang, Concussions, Decoys. That's right, was this the first game that had decoy grenades in it, maybe? Tack Insert. Uh, in general with Call of Duty games, I have always been a big fan of... I was like the modern setting, Black Ops was really on the edge for me because it still had some modernish weapons, but it was a little old schooly. But that kind of tactical gameplay, while still being, you know, more fun, a little bit. Don't go to connect and interrupt it again. What the fuck? Let's restart the game. Okay, I guess restarting the game made a bit of a difference here. Okay. Looks like we're gonna get some playtime. Stockpile domination. When I say tactical, what I mean is that how you approach the game and not what you choose to use has a bigger impact on your success. So intelligent movement through the map, as well as using cover, uh, using the equipment you do have effectively. These things having a bigger impact on the game than, you know, you just picking the most meta weapon. Uh, makes the game feel more skill-based, and that's kind of what I mean when I say tactical. Is it feels like you get better at the game by playing smart instead of playing increasingly like a douchebag. Not really remembering if that door opens. Really remembering the layout of this map here. Holy teammate, thank you. Do you hear me? Oh shit, don't chase, don't chase, Wheezy. It's alright. Woo! Turn this volume up just a bit. Do I hear someone here to the right? I think these doors open, don't they? Can't tell if I hear footsteps. And friendlies just came in that side. All right. Oh, the dolphin dive! Oh! Can't believe we got that kill. Yeah, the dolphin dive was such a cool addition to this game at the time. I, think, I don't know if I put it on my main channel or the amalgamation, but there was a... Me diving through a window to get a kill. Action hero. Good times. No, thank you! No, thank you! No, thank you! I want to put my attack insert, but I don't know think I have time with someone here. Let's dump it. Go up. Ooh. Let's see if I can spawn quick. Nope. Dead. I don't remember if they tax beep in this or just have a light. Or what? Ooh. A little bit of that halo jumping in here. A little bunny hop. You want to come back out here, bud? This guy further back. Hold your 
Oh. I see you over there. Come on, bud. He's up there. Oh, did I not? Oh, I didn't stay on it long enough. Oh, come on. That should have been a kill. Don't do it. Don't do it, boys. Oh, he stuck me! <laughs> what a throw! What a throw! Ooh, not the right gun for that. Guns definitely filled filled roles in these games. The any range SMG was not really a thing. Ooh, thank you. Oh, he's got a buddy. Someone holding down this building up here? Maybe not. Sorry, sir. You shooting at our kill streaks? Yeah, you get him, teammate. You didn't get him? Come on now. Oh, didn't see him. Of course, it's running ghost because I can tell by looking at him with the ghillie suit. All areas secure. Hold your position. Enemy care package incoming. Hostile dogs spotted in your area. Hostile dogs? You got him. I don't- I don't want to- dogs, please. Ooh, that was spray and pray, but got the job done. Bad dogs! No, no, dog! No, no, dog! No, not my tack insert! Oh, no bueno. Yeah, this, I'm, I'm so like, just entranced by the gameplay in this. It's not even really talking about the game. Because it's just, the maps are laid out really well. The objectives, like, the game just plays well. You pay attention, you move smart, use cover, use tactics, and it's just such a good game. Ah. Oh. I heard those footsteps coming. Need a little bit more volume out of this. Oh, that was sloppy. It's SMG, a little bit all over the place. The time to kill in this just felt perfect. This guy gonna come around? This buddy's gonna come back. Oh, come on. Get that grenade. What? What? He jumps through it. He jumps through it. Uh, okay. Oh, that's not good. No, 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 no. That SR 71 is a good kill streak to run in this game. Enemy above. That's a mm, that SR gave me away. Another good thing about this game is the kill streaks. None of them felt like super OP or really relentlessly irritating. I mean, obviously some of them, you know, when you get killed by a kill streak in general, like if there's a dog running around the map or a, a helicopter that you can't really do a whole lot about, it's not the best thing in the world. Um. But versus some of the stuff you had to deal with in other Call of Duty games. 
Could have been much worse. Oh, like a doggy leaping out of nowhere. Enemy care package incoming. Securing Charlie. Enemy QE can't get away. Now they're chaining up choppers and dogs, so it's not looking great for us right now. Enemy B-52 incoming. B-52, dogs, choppers. Yeah, no thanks, dude. I can't remember in Black Ops. I don't remember if kill streaks chain. I want to say this is maybe the first game where they didn't, where a kill streak couldn't earn you another kill streak, but that may have been a later game. Based on the number of kill streaks right now, I'm guessing that that probably isn't the case. Like maybe if it was in the same life, one kill streak could earn you the next one, but if you died, I don't think it would chain like in COT 4. God, they are just all over the kill streaks in this match. What the hell? I think I hear reloading off to my left. Where the fuck were you? <gasps> oh. Oh man, this is actually close. I can't believe we still have the lead right now. We have been getting Enemy sacked on. We gotta get B. I don't know if they still have that SR-71 up. Sure feels like it. Bad throw, bad throw. Come, oh, come on. Died because of a bad ladder. That's unfortunate. Is this one of those booby-trapped ones? Above. Another SR? Are you kidding me? Yeah, so much for, uh... I think, I think we're gonna just edge this one out right here in the end. Come on, team. Push to B. No. That's game, boys. That is sad times. That ah, was a close one. How did my team give up, like, three SR-71s in that game? And, like, four chopper gunners. Like, what the shit? That guy went 62 and 21. Alright, so I made that comment about the killstreaks not being that bad. If your teammate feeds a bunch of, if your teammates feed a bunch of killstreaks to the other team, that ain't good. But even in that, right, like, it felt like there was a reason for what's going on. Like, the enemy's getting killstreaks because my teammates, let's see, does it have... Can we go back to the scoreboard? No, no, like, go to the... there. So, yeah, where's my team? 27 dead. Oh, no, shit. Don't let it get stopped right here. Oh, my God. You ain't no shit, nigga. Get your gang, fucking nigga, you microphone no out shit, of your nigga. mouth. Shut yeah, up. yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all suck. Shut up. Suck. You Nobody likes you. Like War. War never changes. Even in old school, COD players just love to suck on dick for whatever reason. <laughs> Alright, let's get into hotel, play one more, and uh, yeah, call it a wrap on, on this Call of Duty. But yeah, this, this game just felt so good, and yeah, it's hard to kind of understate how solid this game was. The things that happened just, it felt like there was a reason. When you died, it felt like there was a reason. Yes, there's bullshit like there would be in all COD games, but significantly less of it. The longer time to kill, it's not super slow, right? But it's long enough that you could react. Uh, it's long enough that if you were getting shot from longer range, you could escape. And, uh,. Yeah, it just, the, in my opinion, the better Call of Duty games have had essentially kind of this moderate time to kill that's fast, but not too fast. And of course, good map design is critical. Yeah, I remember this one being a little bit bigger and more of a maze than I liked from a normal map. But again, not bad, just a bigger one. Still primarily three lanes, a lot of flanking routes, stuff... 
positions like that are harder to cover. Let's see, is he gonna come around? Enemy spy plane above. Teammate. Don't know what happened to that guy. Whoa! I say that, that was fucking instant. Let's watch that kill cam. That was a connection if I've ever seen one. Let's put that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was a bad time for a reload. And yeah, it does make a little bloop, bloop, bloop. Flank on me, they're gonna push out. Tangled down. They're gonna be pushing C Moving here. Charlie. Oh! Did not hear that guy coming. Oh my goodness, how did I get that? Alright, let's get another one of these down here. Recap. Securing B. A lot of angles. A lot of angles. Alright. Teammates are doing an AC cap, so that's pretty good. Where? See a butt? He's outside. Right outside here. What is going on? Where is that guy? Holy shit balls. I don't know how that happened. Let's get back to Pen C here. Ooh, the knife. Ooh, the knife. Thank you, sir. Please don't come this way. Oh, God. Those time to kills are a little spicy. That's where that SR comes in handy. Oh, how did I get that kill? I should have had more patience with the SR. Fuck. More coming. Oh god. No, no, he's behind me. Carpet bomb coming in. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, boys. Let's get it. I don't think that's going to hit through that roof, but we'll see. Maybe we can get down to B here. Let's get that dolphin dive! Well, if this is a bad position to be right now. No! I got it just in time, okay. Sometimes you gotta do it. Do it for the team. Dump that. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to be jumping out here to break my legs, but. Oh yeah, I forgot there's an underneath part here. Ooh. Ah, uh, excuse, please. Hello, no way. That down. Is he up? Nope. Securing Bravo. Feels like there's a good balance of footstep audio in this game too, where you can't just completely 
pour it the entire time. Shit. Oh. Ah, recoil. Good job, teammate. I left that just right in the open. That's not a great attack insert. What the? Life raft? Oh, no! Derp, derp. Enemy spy plane above. Not a great position down here. Our spy plane's in the air. Securing Bravo. Alright, they're gonna come around here. Got one coming back. Bravo, secure. Where the what the what? What's that? Above? Below? I don't know what the fuck that was. Losing B. Been a few minutes since I've played on this map. All right, we got enough teammates there to cover A. We lost Bravo. Ah, damn, that was fast. Ooh, unlucky. Let's clear him out! No, thank you, sir. Let's get back in here. Got an enemy. No, oh, the knife! I was like, double back! He did not. God, the game just... Like, look how competitive it is. I see you. Oh, I see your tech insert. Friendly dogs inbound. Securing B. Let's get you out of here, sir. Wow, that was sloppy. Sleight of hand, so powerful. Does that say enemy dog? No, it's friendly dogs. Because the enemies are shooting them. Alright, let's see if we can distract him with this cap here. Oh, how did I die there? Bull nana goats. Oh, friendly. Came out of nowhere. No, thank you, knife, sir. That wasn't very knife of you. Even though it was extremely knife of him, actually. Because, whatever. Shut up. Come on, boys! Let's get it! That a friendly chopper up? Yes, sir. Did not place that frag. Oh, yeah, we gotta push back. Oh, and that guy peeking through the window. Shoulda known, shoulda known. That is an enemy! I'm like, what the hell? I thought I saw a dude on the radar. We're like two stepping around each other. There we go, we right there. Charlie. That guy just sat there and waited for it, huh? Alright, we're coming back on this side. Oh, I had him. Damn, you did all that fucking talking and I dropped dogs twice. Fucking Call of Duty peoples. Oh, I, have yeah, I, I, I dropped dogs twice. Who are you killing? Congrats, you, you killing psychoanalysis. What do you mean? I killed you multiple times on my street. <laughs> <laughs> I love people so much. <laughs> 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 yeah.
you get to, this has been the most active people coming back in older COD games I've seen, although it is the weekend. All right, Binions. That was number two, top five Call of Duties of all time. Call of Duty Black Ops, the original. An absolutely fantastic game. I will definitely be coming back to play this game some more too, so long as people are still on here and the matchmaking is still working. This is a great Call of Duty. It holds up. For sure. If you guys enjoyed that, leave me a like. If you guys didn't like the original Black Ops and you just think I'm an idiot, you can leave me a dislike. If you're new around here, subscribe because I do all kinds of good stuff and man, this is really taking me back. If you guys haven't watched my other videos for my other top fives in the series, go check those out. Number one is coming up next. If you guys have been around here for five minutes, you know what it's going to be already, but I'll see you in the next one.